Yo, I want to welcome all y'all to the best Madden 19 tips and trips channel where you will be able to dominate on offense, send the fast blitzes on defense, make your opponent rage quit and send you nasty messages or either beg for you to quit out the game. I also do custom schemes if you play regs, so hit your boy up, follow the link in the description to get all the ebooks and you will become an exclusive member. Welcome to the Clamp Squad. What's up gamers? Welcome to my brand new series on how to take you from an average Madden player to a great Madden player. And the first thing we're gonna go over is quick adjustments and then we're gonna get into run stop and I need y'all to drop a like on this video. When I see that we get at least 25 likes on this video that lets me know that y'all like this type of setup, these type of tips, and I will continue the series going forward. Make sure if you're new to the channel, you hit that subscribe button for more Madden 19 best tips ever going forward to Madden 20 also if you do have the top 50 to 100 weekend league package you will get the first ebook in the next Madden for free so keep that in the back of your head and make sure that you got the right email that you want the updated ebook for Madden 20 or whatever it will be called to come to you so the first thing we're gonna go over is quick adjustments something that you got to know to take you from either a noob a beginner or just a casual to a great Madden player. So remember your YY and your triangle triangle is your secondary. So you got all your secondary highlighted right now. Now push cancel. Your R1 or RB two times is your linebackers. Push cancel. Your L1 or LB two times is your lineman. And then everything on the screen tells you different commands. So right now we are in an even package. When you are in a package like this on defense, you want to use either your 3-4 or your 4-4. Them type of packages with more beefy people on the field. So you will have your three down linemen and you want more linebackers. Heavier weight is the better. Now when they start going into the three wide receiver sets and all that, then we will drop another video for that. Let me know in the comment section what y'all are having trouble with. And I will go ahead and make a game plan for y'all. So the first thing we're going to go over is stopping the run and Madden 19. Right now, I'm in the 3-4-I cover 4 show too. I also like to use the 4-4 out of the people that like to run the ball. Take the run completely out of a Madden 19 game plan and make them put the ball in the air. Now your chances of winning just go up 50% because now you can get the tip animations, you can get the drop passes, all that type of good stuff. Your uh, guy not being able to see his read down the field and he get, gets a sack put himself in second and long, third and long, and all that good stuff. So how I would like to set this up is, first thing I would do when I break the huddle is I would take them QB contains off. So I would push L1, and you can see it says point of attack. Outside, left, slant right, inside. Being that it's an even set, only thing I would do, slant inside. So I would push down on the right stick. Now, the second thing I would want to do is not base a line in a small package. I want them even just like that. So then you don't have to worry about somebody getting a free streak down the field. But I would push wire triangle. And then you can see it says press with the left stick down. Now we are pressing. Now I will push uh, wire triangle. And then I will play underneath. Put my hard flats on there. And then I will spread my linebackers. This is how my defense will be set up as soon as he breaks the huddle. In case he does try to quick snap. Now, if you have a little bit more time on this type of play for the run, you want these people to be able to help you with the run. So I will spread my linebackers, and then I will cross man. I will put these people on the slowest people on the field, and then I will want them to have a little bit of separation. Now, what you're telling your opponent is run to the inside, run it up the middle, do a dive, any of that. If you try to do a stretch, I'm all over it. So, now that we got them cross man, it's going to help with the run. Now we're able to run our play. So you don't know which way he's going to run it. So I would bring him back one or two steps like this so you can see the play develop. Now when we hike the ball, whichever way he go, you take off slow. Make sure that it's not a play action. And then you go to the point of attack. So we're going to hike the ball. It's going to that side over there. Letting the block shares line up. And then you're able to gobble it up. Now another thing you can do if you know that he's doing outside, you can go like this. You can press, spread your line, crash out, spread your linebackers, play underneath, and it's already set up. Now, you can take your safeties. They are in run fits first, but being that it's only a two wide receiver look, 
you don't have much speed on the field on the offensive side. So I would take him, cross man him. Then I would take him, cross man him. So we got a linebacker and a safety cross man. And I would use this yellow person right here. This is who I would use. I'm not worried about anything from the tight ends. Only thing I got to worry about is lurk a post from one of the wide receivers. And you able to watch that as soon as he hikes the ball. You can also give him two or three steps just to let him know running to the outside is not going to happen against me. So we're going to hike the ball and you're going to see them come off the edge way, way better and way cleaner. So like I said, you can spread your line, you can crash out, you can press, spread the linebackers, play hard flats. Now you can do this real simple. You can cross man on both sides if you want to, anything that you want to do. All you want to do is let him know you better run up the gut. Now I got my yellow. We're going to hike the ball. We're going to let that get developed over there. And that's another loss. Now, when they keep getting losses, because people that run the ball, they look for them crazy animations, some of that glitchy stuff. I'm going to make it so it's harder for them to get that, and they have to pass the ball. Once they have to pass the ball, then they have to start blocking people, putting less wide receivers out. And that's when you are at an advantage, because then you can start dialing up the nasty blitzes that you know your boy is good at. So right here, we're going to come up, we're going to press, spread line, crash out linebackers and then take a moment give him a couple more steps on it then you can cross man him to the wide receiver cross man him to the tight end and just keep one of them yellow zones that you want to use there put some hard flats out there and we're going to hike the ball and look at that bow in the backfield now we're going to flip the play because it don't matter so we're going to flip it to the other side you don't know that so we're going to come out spread line crash out spread them linebackers box that field up a little bit play underneath and we don't have to really do the cross man but we want him to go through the middle and there he is gobbled up in the backfield same results both sides so now we're going to go into the toss you go in practice that we're going to go into the toss real fast and i'm going to show you it's going to be the same kind of results and then once you get this down pack then we can go into more advanced stuff where you can shoot gaps and all that so now we're going to go into a toss, a nice toss that people like to use is a single back bunch, quick pitch. So we're going to go into that. So on this type of look, you don't want to commit to just a cover four because it's a lot of different plays that they can have. So if you come out in this and he runs the ball and then the next play he comes out in this type of formation, burn a timeout and go into another package that I may explain to you a little bit later because... It's a lot of different route combos and stuff that they can do out of this. So it ain't just the, the uh, spread type of offense where you can see the routes right in front of you. Because there's ways with him being in the middle of the field where he can manipulate certain zones. So if he comes out in bunch after you shut the run down the first time, push a timeout and then go into a different package. So right here, we're going to press. We're going to spread a line. We're going to spread. We're going to crash down this time. And then we're going to put them hard flats on there. So we don't want none of these blocks to be able to get picked up. That's the point. So move him outside. Move him outside. Bring him right here. You can man him up. Not too much speed. Cross man him like that. And your player is set up. Now, you got your deep blues. You got your hard flat. And then you got this guy right here who's coming down for the run too. Now, I like the user on the opposite of the strong side because I like to be able to come down and force him to either try to juke me or cut back to the middle where I got one, two, three, four, five people on the back side. So on this play, you can use either him or him. It don't matter. You just want to make sure that you don't move somebody fully out of position. You know what I mean? So right here, he's doing that toss to that right side. I mean, you can even put him on B. So now you got him cross man over there. You got him cross man over there. I mean, you don't got that much speed on the field. All you want to do in this formation is make sure that your line is either crashing out or crashing toward that strong side because it might be a whim and we'll go over that too also so we're going to hike the ball the pitch the pitch we got people to the outside he has to break one tackle but he only gets a one yard gain and it's all from an easy setup just by moving your guys out one to two yards so we're going to press spread line crash our defensive line to that strong side and then don't let him get a chance to quick hike. Once he starts seeing something like this, he going to start getting scared. Once he starts seeing something like this, he like, oh, man, he, he got pitch defense. 
You dang right we got pitch defense over here. So we're going to hike the ball. We're just going to play behind. Woo! We knocking heads off over here. So now, you see how that's set up? Easy, man. So we're going to do the wham D right here. We're going to do the wham D. I want to make sure that y'all got everything covered for the run. And then we can go in the next video for the more deeper stuff. So we're going to go into the wham right here. There's the wham. So we're going to man him up with the running back. Man him up with the tight end. Cross man him. Blitz him on the outside. We're going to shift to that strong side over there. Crash down. And we're going to blow that wham up. Now watch this. Bow. Wham blown up in the backfield. Like I said. Shift to that strong side. Crash down. Spread your linebackers. Do all your adjustments. And then just cross man a couple people. Now I cross man over there with that A. I ain't worried about it. But it's all about that wham D. Goes in motion. Block share right there. He picks up one or two yards. He ain't going to be able to run that too often. Shift your line. Press. Make your adjustments. It's real easy. Make your adjustments. Play underneath. And you just come down here. You want to try to run the ball again. You want to try to run the ball again. Cut back. Bow. One or two yards. And that's exactly what we want every single time. If this defense helped you out, make sure you drop a like on the video. Make sure you are subscribed. Go down in the link in the description. Get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package so you can make sure that you get all these type of breakdowns going forward in the ebook. And then you also get a free copy.